what's up all you sharkomaniacs out there it's me mo the bearded shark thank you for coming back and checking out my channel if you're new to my channel well thank you welcome come on in man grab you some popcorn a yoohoo sit back relax and enjoy this video if you do like it press the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel come on back in anytime you feel like it today we're going to be reviewing a company that everybody's been messaging me and back and be like mo are these shark approved bro well, let's find out today. Today, we're going to be reviewing Brocast Beard Supplies. Eric, the owner, nice guy. Um, we've been communicating back and forth, bought a couple of products from him, and he included some other things. Um, I really wanted to try this out and see what the hype is about. Are they shark approved or is this just phony baloney, man? I guess we'll find out throughout the review. Um, Eric started the company because as you and me, he bought products from our companies that are, we love, and he just really didn't feel like that in order for you to have a nice groomed, well took care of beard that you have to pay a high price. He wanted to create something that's superior, that's luxury, that's going to be top of the line without breaking the bank of you and me, because we know money don't grow on trees. If it did, You'd always find me in the backyard or somewhere where there's a tree growing and just shaking that thing, hoping for Benjamins to fall out. So that was the story behind this. He wanted to create something that's going to benefit you, me, and everybody around us with ingredients that you wouldn't really see in many beard products throughout the, or that I haven't seen some of these beard products in my beard journey that I've been doing this. But he don't feel like that we should break the bank. So let's get this started. Today we're going to review five different beard oils. And we're going to review a beard balm. Take it away, Mo. That's me. Duh. Right. Here we go. So I'm going to hit you guys up with all scents that I have, which is five. I'm going to tell you which cologne they mimic. And I also kicked it up a notch. I researched what scent profiles these colognes are. So you guys can know and see which of these cologne scented beard oils may attract your spidey senses and what may not we're gonna go ahead and kick it off with this one this one's a special one i'm the only one that has this one this is scent zero and guess what scent zero is it's got absolutely no scent to it whatsoever this is a scentless oil so you guys if you want it you just special request it from broke ass and they might make it for you or i might be just the only one they'll ever have it you never know no i'm sure if you request it from them they'll send it to you so let's take a look at the oil. The oil is, it has a yellow tint to it, as you guys can see. Also, I would say this one is um, right at a medium thickness. But this is a scentless one, so you're going to get absolutely no scent out of it. Um, so if you're wanting to wear it with different products and all that, you don't have to worry about them um, interfering or getting the scent of the natural oils or anything like that. Nothing whatsoever. So this is, you know, it's hunting season. So if you guys need a good quality unscented oil, maybe Eric, maybe you want to put this on the website, buddy. You never know. But the scent, I mean, the ingredients that you're going to get out of this is fractionated coconut oil, sweet almond oil, argon oil, jojoba oil, castor oil, aloe extract, marula oil, emo oil, baobab oil, vitamin E. And this one does not have any kind of fragrance because it's scentless. Duh. The next one, which is number four, which is Spice Bomb. Now, Spice Bomb is bergamot, grapefruit, cinnamon leaf, pink pepper, lavender, chili, saffron, elemis, vetiver, balsam fir, tobacco cord, and white leather accord. Now, this one is like a warmy cologne scent. I like it. This is something you can wear like in fall and winter time. Um which is the spice bomb right here and he writes he hand writes the numbers on the bottle for you guys too this next one is probably one that you guys recognize a lot and that is aqua dgo and this one the scent profile is marine notes mandarin bergamot neroli persimmon rosemary nasturtium jasmine amber patchouli and cystus i don't know really what cystus is never smelt of it never heard of it but that is aqua dgo right there 
Smells just like the cologne. Next, I'm gonna hit you guys up with scent number eight, which is Polo Double Black. Now this scent profile right here really, really surprised me. I had no idea all these scents were inside this cologne that um, I just realized now. And it is spiced mango, coffee, nutmeg, vetiver, and cardamom. I had no idea that the Polo Black or Double Black had coffee in it. I don't smell the coffee. I guess if I really, really concentrate on it or get my mind to think that I smell coffee, I might smell it in here or I might smell in the in the cologne. I'm not sure, but I've never smelled coffee inside uh, the Polo Double Black or really any cologne. Next is Bond Number no. 9 Dubai Gold. Now, this one is Brandy, Saffron, Bitter Orange, Ginger, Cedarwood, Guaiac wood, amber, sandalwood, musk, and patchouli. This is a really nice scent right here. Yeah, this one, the Dubai Go is a freaking phenomenal scent. Phenomenal. So you can see I wore that one the most right there. I wore this one the most. Next is YSL. I can't pronounce it. I'm just going to go with YSL, which is El Home. And this is number 14 right here. And this one is bergamot cedar, ozonic notes, white ginger, basil flower, white pepper, violet leaves, cedar wood, Haiti vetiver, and tonka bean. This is my second favorite one. Mm. Actually, I'll take that back. This one is going to be my number one favorite out of all of them I smelt. And then goes to buy gold. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I just love, I want this in a, like a body wash and stuff. This smells really, really good right here. I, I really, really enjoyed this one. I really forgot how well it smelled until I just took another whiff. Let's take a look at this broke ass beard balm right here. And the ingredients that you're going to find in the broke ass uh, beard supplies beard balm is fractionated coconut oil, sweet almond oil, shea butter, beeswax, mango nut butter, Argon oil, jojoba oil, castor oil, aloe extract, marula oil, emo oil, baobab oil, vitamin E oil, and fragrance. Keep in mind, you're going to find mostly fragrance in his products because of why? These are cologne-based products, so you're going to find fragrance oils in these products right here, which nothing wrong with fragrance oils at all. So calm your tits over there, Mr. McGee. There's nothing wrong with fragrance oils, okay? So... <laughs> Let's take a look inside the balm. You can see it right there. It's got a really nice white tint to it. It is a soft balm. You can see I'm gonna put it on my hand and it will easy emulsify, or excuse me, sorry, Nancy, easily melt down and break down for you guys, just like that. Now with this right here, this is the Aqua Digio scent, scent number five. I did notice that when you combine the oil and the balm together, you do get a stronger uh, scent in your beard, of course. Um, but as far as like um, hold, I didn't get no hold. I'd say this is a really good conditioning balm. Absolutely no hold whatsoever. I got zero hold out of it. Um, but it did make my beard feel nice and silky smooth on top of the oil. It was just like I felt like my beard was you know, air really. But as far as like hold what I use a balm for, I didn't get no hold out of it at all. All right, the verdict, the final answer. What do I think about broke ass beard supplies, beard products? Well, I had the honor to, to try out the oils and the balm. The oils and balm both make your beard feel absolutely amazing. I cannot emphasize that anymore. Absolutely amazing. Some of the best feeling beard products I've ever tried to this date. Um, you know, he does have some amazing ingredients on there and I'm going to use a line from Dan C's video. You have luxury premium products or ingredients inside a low budget price, which that's what broke ass was going for. They're saying, we don't want you to pay 25, 35, 50 bucks for products that may cost the company less than $5 to make. We don't want you to break the bank, you know? And I like that a lot because, you know, if you're someone like me, I can't really just order one thing. I gotta order multiple things. And this gives me the option or the opportunity to order more than one cent and not worry about breaking the bank. I mean, you got oils that are $9 for one ounce, and then you have bombs 
that are 12 bucks for two ounces. You combine two of them together, 20 bucks and gets you a combo. You can buy two combos for the price of one that you would for majority companies. I was really shocked and surprised to see the price tag on this. Um, you know, and just to be clear, I get a lot of messages, you know, how much do you think he uses blah, 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 um, or ingredients inside of his, in his, um, bottle. Quite frankly, I don't care. That's none of my business. I don't care if he uses a drop of emo oil or if he uses a gallon of emo oil. All I know is that the product works and it feels great in beer. That's my job. My job is to make sure that you guys out there as consumers do not get ripped off on products as far as like how well it works in beer. My job is not to go around and inspect everybody and see how much of an ingredient they have in their product. That's, I don't want to know. That ain't, I, I don't care to be honest with you. So that's my job. My job is to do the review for you guys and let you know if this is going to be shark approved or not shark approved. Um, so overall, oil, absolutely phenomenal and beard works great. The scents, now let me just, let me just be clear with the scents. The, the most of these that I've tried except for the Aqua DGO and the um, YSL, they are they are a little bit subtle you know they're subtle cologne scents so you're not going to get that strong whiff in your beard where um of a cologne scent like you would as you would as you spray on a cologne they are subtle scents however you do still get the scent throughout the day but again they're subtle they're not like bam in your face and they're not gonna leave a trail of beard in like that matter of fact sometimes when i think the scent goes away it kind of just like when the air blows the right way I get it back in my face. Now, if you combine the oil and the balm together, it does create a little bit of a strong scent profile. I would say the duration on these are about six six hours on the dot. The Aqua Digio, that one lasted about 10 hours for me. So this is good for people out there that do not enjoy strong scented cologne oils, but you really wanna try the broke ass beard supplies. Um, you won't have to worry about your the scents just you know hitting you in your face and just being overwhelming. Also, he's coming out with uh, non cologne scented beard oils in the future, which I'd love to try and see how those compare to the cologne scents. I know he's working on other products, and this is a company that I would def it's going to definitely be on my radar every time they come out with something new. Especially because I was very impressed with the feeling beard with the products. Now with the balm. I like a balm that gives me hold because that's what I use the balm for. If that's not, then I'm going to use a butter. If I need hold, I use a balm. I did get no hold whatsoever out of the balm, but it's a great conditioning balm. So this may replace a butter in the future for me. Like if at night, if I wanted to use a butter, I can just use the balm because that's what it reminds me of. It's just like a, a butter to me. But overall, the feeling beard is wonderful. Um, no kickback, no paid review. I didn't even ask for him to give me a discount code for you guys because the products are already cheap. No giveaway because, again, the products are fairly cheap enough where they don't break the bank. Um, go get you some. Try it out. And let me know how it feels in your beard. But that's all I got for you guys today. So y'all have a wonderful evening and <laughs> stay bearded. Duh.